There's been a lot of excitement about using um, a wire mesh screen in lieu of radials for vertical antennas. Uh, so today we picked up this 36 by 84 piece of aluminum mesh and we're going to set up out here and see how this pairs with our GRA 7350T antenna. I know it looks like we've got a mess on this table, but we're going to hook the Nano VNA up to the computer, set up the antenna with the mesh screen, the magic carpet, so to speak, and we're going to see how this performs. Uh, if it works well, it should make uh, deployments on POTA and SOTA activations a little easier because we're not having to lug around a lot of extra wire to set up radials. All right, so Rebecca's kicking us off here. Uh, so we're gonna just roll out this mesh screen as flat as we can on the ground, and then we'll set the antenna up in the middle of that and run some wires from the radial lugs to some alligator clips and clip them to the mesh carpet and see how those do. carpet's down. So the next step is we are going to set the antenna up in the middle of the carpet so that we can connect some wires with alligator clips. So that should be the antenna set up, and now we will hook up the Nano VNA. Okay, so we've got the Nano VNA running into a laptop, running Nano VNA Saver, and we did a quick sweep, and right now the minimum SWR is a about 14.9 so we need to do just a little bit of tweaking on the antenna height uh, so if you want to go ahead and just increase the length of that just a little bit and then we've made the antenna a bit longer we can do another sweep and see where our peak shifts to so now our minimum SWR is at 13.8. So we need to just decrease the height a bit, but at this point we can just shorten the whip a little bit to make that work. Probably a little bit more on the whip. We might need to shorten it just a hair more at the coil. So go ahead and extend the whip fully and we'll shorten it at the coil a bit more. Okay, so the minimum SWR is 1.755 at 14.315. Um, that's looking pretty good. Uh, at this point, we're gonna take a Sharpie and mark on the antenna where these length adjustments are so that we can get close to this back in the field and then we'll hook up the 818 and see how this performs. Hey, we are here at Kurahi Mountain doing the hike up to the summit. We're gonna do a soda and possibly put an activation and test out our magic carpet with our vertical antenna. So we're just getting started. 
Oh, we got one nice climb ahead of us. Three miles off. Just three miles. Just three miles. All right, we're just a little over a mile into this hike. So far, so good. Um, I hear the last mile is going to be more of the super up. But if let's turn around this way. It's a big peak back there. That is where we're going. And get all that in there. That is that is Curry Heat. All right, we're about two miles up on this road to the summit of Curry Mountain. If Band of Brothers is to be believed, we got one more mile to go. Three up, three down. It's a little chilly today, but it's nice and quiet. Not a lot of traffic. We've seen a few runners and only a handful of cars. But nice little walk. A little steep, but nice little walk. Right there behind the sun, you can see the summit of Kurahi with all the radio towers. Rebecca is really enjoying this hill. But we're about 2.3 miles. We can see the summit. So we are almost there. Get up there, set up some radios, make some QSOs. I'm hearing a lot of folks on VHF today uh, on 14652. So hopefully we can get up there, get some summits to summit. Get our, what do we need, 10? Because we're doing POTA as well. Get 10 QSOs, head back down, get some lunch. Maybe we'll have lunch up here, we'll see. Video doesn't do this justice, but this is a pretty solid grade going up. But, as long as I'm reading my map correctly, once we turn right at the end of this road, we'll be there. And I guess I don't even need to worry about my map. I can turn my head to the right and see the radio towers. So we know that's the summit. So we are just about there. Uh, according to my Garmin, two and a half miles in. Rebecca looks super happy going up here. <laughs> so we will get there and get back to you. The views up here are just beautiful. Oh, wow. Well, how are you feeling? Better now, and I'm not hiking like that. Hey, we're higher than the bird. Yes, we are. Oh, well, we made it to the top. We're gonna go ahead and get everything set up, and then try to make some QSOs. Apparently there's some like downhill mountain biking up here. We passed a group. All right looks pretty intense. Got folks doing some rock climbing. Got all sorts of towers with antennas. So hopefully we don't have a lot of RF interference, but we will see. There's KO4 KVH here. He has set up our vertical antenna with our magic carpet for our ground radio. And I can't wait to see how this performs out here at Kurahi Mountain. Be able to see it here in the trees, but we do have our roll up Slim Jim here connected to our Yesu FT 60R here. So, we're going to get some two meter contacts. We've been hearing people on 5 2, so we are definitely hoping for some summit to summits. About a 5 8, a 5 8 up here at Kilo 7455 QSL. <laughs> QSL, and I've got you a good 5-8 down here in Northwest Arkansas. Right, thank you so much for the 5-8. You have a happy new year and 73. 7455, 7455, QSL. QSL, QSL, 73, good luck. Thank you so much. Um, this is Kilo Oscar 4, Kilo Victor Golf. We're going to go QRT. Thank you so much, everybody, and hope you all have a happy new year. 73. <laughs> We got about 15 contacts in 20 minutes on 20 meters, so we are going to take everything down, get a quick lunch, and get back down to the truck because it is cold out here. <laughs> All right, successful activation. The wind picked up. It got cold. I started shivering. Her hands started going numb, so we packed sure. up. Good news is we got a lot of contacts really quick. By a lot, like 15, but you know, that was 20 minutes, so no complaints there, especially since we were getting some all the way out in California. 
big picture, the Magic Carpet worked great. Setup, teardown, super easy. And the antenna, honestly, I felt like it was performing better than it usually does. Uh, the bands were busy, they were open, but we've been out when they're busy and open and not had that same type of performance using just wire ground radials. Admittedly, we're not running as many as we should when we do that. And the mesh kind of makes up for that, but I'm sold. Like, it's worth kind of strapping this thing to the back of my pack, as you can see. Nah, I highly recommend it, even for soda. Like, it, it wasn't that bad packing it up here. So we're going to start hiking down. Let me flip it. Uh, you can see the road. We're going to go down, down, down. We're going to check out where these downhill mountain bikers seem to be going, though. And we will mark this one off as a successful New Year's Eve activation. End of 2023, three miles up, three miles down, and over 15 contacts in the book. Not a bad way to end 2023. Stay tuned to 2024 as we're going to make an effort to get out and do more experiments with antennas, soda activations, poda activations. Who knows what kind of activations. We'll go out, we'll play radio, we'll play in the woods, we'll see what happens. Until next time. 73.